everyone. Welcome back to Dr. Ho's Healthy Living Vlog. Now, if you suffer from back pain, this is the video you're going to want to watch. Today, we are joined by Chapman Fu, who is a registered physiotherapist, and he works out of the PT Rehab Center. Now, Chapman is actually has a doctorate in physical therapy, and he's going to teach us about something today called the McKenzie Method. McKenzie back exercises consist of seven exercises, mm -hmm. and these seven exercises would help chronic lower back pain sufferers to restore the range of motion, as well as mobility, as well as the function of the lower back. So just a little note for everyone watching along at home, if you are following along and you start to experience pain or find it difficult, please seek out a registered physical therapist to help you. But in the meantime, for those of you who are feeling up to it, let's see these seven exercises so that you can do them at home. This is exercise number one, lying face down. As you can see, I have Kathy lying down on her tummy with her face turning to one side. She is to hold this exercise for about two to three minutes. What this exercise would do is this will help her to unload her lower back and also help her to start straightening out the spine. Exercise number two is lying face down in an extension. To start this exercise, you basically put yourself in the position like exercise number one. But as you can see with Kathy, she put her elbows directly underneath her shoulders so she can lean on her forearm. By leaning on her forearm, what this does, it actually helps to restore a little bit of the lower back curve bending backward. Exercise number three is extension in lying. And like, as you can see, Kathy starts from the position of lying on the, face, on the tummy and then she's putting her hands underneath her shoulders and extending her elbows to push her upper body upward and then come back down. Breathe in at the bottom, come up and at the end, breathe out. If you find that this is too difficult, or if you find that you cannot bend back as much, you can actually put the hands forward like what Kathy does to reduce the curve of the lower back bending. Exercise number four is extension in standing. As you can see that Kathy is putting her hands behind the lower back to help her to support herself bending backward. This helps her to restore the range of motion of bending backward for the lower back. However, it doesn't stretch as much as exercise number three, extension in lying, but it is more convenient. You can do it anywhere in any place. You can do this for about 10 times and do this for up to eight times a day or every two hours. Exercise number five is flexion in lying. As you can see that like um, Kathy is bringing her knees to the chest, hold for about two seconds and breathe out and then come back down. This exercise is the first step to work restoring bending forward motion of the lower back. You can do this exercise for about up to four times a day. And if you do not feel comfortable, you can put a pillow underneath the head to re, uh, reduce the amount of pressure on the spine. Exercise number six is flexion in sitting. As you can see that Kathy is actually sitting at the edge of a steady chair. She flex forward and hold for two seconds and breathe out and come back straight. Breathe in again and bend forward. This helps her to start to restore the range of motion of her lower back bending forward. This is the intermediate stage for improving the bending forward motion of the lower back. Exercise number seven is flexion in standing. This is the last of the series and the most challenging one. As you can see that Kathy is maintaining her knee straight in standing and trying to bend forward to reach for as far as she could reach. If you cannot reach so far, don't worry. You will gradually gain this range of motion later. This is the last step to work restoring the range of motion bending forward. When you reach the maximum, do not hold. Chapman, thank you so much for teaching us about the McKenzie Method and how we can alleviate back pain from the comfort of our home. Now, if you were following along and you struggled a bit or you did experience any pain, again, please seek out a registered physiotherapist like Chapman. He works out of the PT Rehab Center, or you can find a local physiotherapist to assist you as well. Thank you again, and we'll see everyone next time. Bye. Bye-bye.